Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Thursday, April 14, 2022. Time is 8.45 a.m. Jersey time. All right, well, you know, the heroes, they've been busy. They've really been busy. They've been busy with children lately. This story is reported on uh, Fox Detroit News. Uh, that would be uh, fox2detroit.com. Came out on April 7th. 2022. Let's find out what this fine, upstanding, well-trained professional hero has been up to. I'm no doubt he's been protecting and serving us, right? That's what the bootleggers keep telling me. They keep telling me they're risking their lives because they protect and serve us, and we should be thankful for them every second that they're out there. All right, story reads as follows. Detroit police officer accused of sexually assaulting a minor. Well, how about that? Well, maybe they're giving up on child porn. They're going to go just assaulting the children directly. There's a picture of his ugly face right there. There's the story. All right, let's find out. A Detroit police officer has been charged with two counts of criminal sexual conduct, first degree. Michael Carson, 60 years old, is behind bars, accused of sexually abusing a child for the last seven years. It, is allegedly, it allegedly began when the child was six years old. You imagine that, six years old. Unbelievable. And this is what was running around out there protecting us? Yeah, tell me about it, bootlicker. Oh, I know. It's an isolated instance. This no way represents all of them, and there's bad apples in every profession, right? Uh, the crimes allegedly occurred in West Bloomfield, where Carson lives. While this is still under investigation, Carson has been charged and is being held in the Oakland County Jail on $750,000 bond cash. In a statement released on Thursday, Detroit Police Chief James White says that he is moving to have Michael Carson suspended without pay as his case moves forward. Now, I read an update that he was fired. He called these allegations disturbing and said that this does not represent the Detroit Police. Uh, not all of them, but a portion of them. They will continue to, you know, this does not represent. This is their way of denial. Rather than saying, you know what, we got a problem. We need to look into it. They will continue, uh, these allegations are disturbing, said this does not represent the Detroit Police. Uh, they will continue to cooperate with the West Bloomfield Police who are investigating at this time. Cars is also being investigated by other police departments and could face additional charges. There is one alleged victim. We are actively evaluating the scurrilous scurrilous allegations made against my client who is a missive of divorce we are putting together a defense team I have no further comments said Carson's defense attorney Carson is a corporal with the DPD and has been with the department for 22 years he currently works training new officers at their police academy well that's nice there's a better picture of him right there alright so I, I read in others and I believe what this is is that this is a stepchild don't hold me, you know, I don't know this for sure, but I think that's what it is. It's not his kid, so apparently he married another woman, and had, and she had a kid, and this creep, this well-trained professional creep, was uh, having a little fun with this poor child for six years. So what, six? So the kid's like 12 years old now. Unbelievable. But... You and I know the truth is, but these bootleggers, they'll make excuses every step of the way for them. They'll probably say, oh, you know, you gotta wait till all the evidence is in, you know, but if, you know, by the way, if it's just people that did something like that, the cops would have a, a 20 paragraph story about it. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description. I'll find some updates. I'll put that in there also. Till next time, people.